In this video, we're going to show you the uh, basic techniques for doing a punch biopsy with specific indications for doing this on the lower extremity. Uh, we'll discuss a few of the indications that are used for considering the biopsy, but more specifically, we will look at the technique itself and some little tips to make it easier for you. So with this technique, we're looking at a potential lesion that we don't know what it is. And the idea is we're going to take a small specimen of this lesion for biopsy. In this particular scenario, we're going to utilize a punch biopsy instrument. This happens to be a 3.5 millimeter diameter biopsy, but we could use a 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, we can use the size that we think is indicated for this particular lesion. Prior to actually doing the biopsy, we would prep the skin with an alcohol, raise a small wheel with a local anesthetic injection. Once that has been done, then we will consider doing this part. The technique itself involves getting the darkest, most elevated portion and most represented portion of the lesion putting the punch biopsy in so that we have no normal skin, only abnormal skin, and we're simply rotating back and forth gently until the instrument penetrates to the depth of the subcutaneous tissue. Then we can simply elevate this back up, and you'll see there's our punch biopsy specimen right here. And now we can take that out by very gently lifting the tissue up, trying not to grab it, and then cutting the deep subcutaneous tissue and lifting the specimen out. Once the specimen is removed completely, I can't see there. Now we have the 2.5 millimeter specimen we will then put that into the specimen container and send it to the lab with the appropriate paperwork. So when we have a 3.5 or larger punch biopsy, I frequently recommend that we put a suture in to hold that still. For the smaller punch biopsies, 3.0 and below, I almost never put a suture in. But this is just to um, close the lesion during the early stages of recovery. And then put a small band-aid over this for post-op. Remove the suture in seven days. <clears throat> 